Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Race Boutique, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous, easy fall wreath in under 10 minutes. This wreath is stunning, but it's super easy. You would not believe how easy it is, and it goes together so quickly. So if you are excited and you love fall, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. The materials you're going to need for this wreath are a grapevine. I'm using a 14 inch grapevine base for this. And then you're going to need a few things and they all came from Hobby Lobby. And if you watched my fall Hobby Lobby haul I did last week, I'll link that below and put a little card up. Um, you saw me get these and I talked about them. So let's go into them. So these are some fall picks. This one's like a mix of different things. I just love it. It's got some fall eucalyptus, some wheat and berries. Such a pretty mix. I have two different colors of this. I love it. They're like little bunny tails. I'm not sure what they're called, but they sure are cute. And then I have these, which are fall colored berries and leaves. They're cream berries and fall colored leaves. Aren't they pretty? So I have four picks of each of those. You're also going to need some wire cutters hot glue and a hot glue gun. The first thing we're going to do is take one of these picks. I start with this one, put some hot glue on the back and then just stick it along the grain of the grapevine. Just like that. If you need to add more glue on top, you can just to make it extra secure. And then we're going to go with our darker grass here darker of the two grasses. Cut the stem and then I'm just going to layer that on top right next to it. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? And now we're going to do one of these. Cut the stem and then layer that on top of that. Aren't these colors so pretty together. Oh, I love it so much. And now I'm going to take the lighter colored grass and just layer that over here. Now we're just going to start the pattern over again with this one. Add some glue, stick it into the grapevine so it covers the stem of the previous pick. Isn't that gorgeous? We have so many pretty fall textures. I love it. So for these last parts, you're just going to lift up the picks that you already put down. Just lift them up a little bit and you can put these stems into the grapevine underneath that so that they all cover each other's stems up and it looks really nice. So 
So this lighter color, we only need three of because that's how it worked out. But how gorgeous is this? And of course you can always play with it and fluff it around. I just absolutely love it. <gasps> what do you guys think? I love this wreath and look how easy it was to come together. Were you expecting it to be that easy? <laughs> Very simple. If you wanna add a loop to the back of it, I've showed this before, but I'll show it again. You can just use some jute twine and cut off a piece about this long. Then you find a good spot on the back. You just look at your wreath, see where it'll hang the best, and then find a chunk on the back like that. And then just put the jute twine through it and then tie a little knot just like that and you have a nice neutral hanger that matches so you can just hang it like that all right i hope you enjoyed and if you ever want to know where i get my wreath making supplies i have a cheat sheet linked in the description below so let me know what you think and what is your favorite fall color this year i would love to know all right i will see you guys in the next video bye